So this figure has a lot of, is very mixed opinions for my little brain. You see, I originally got the third party version because I never thought we'd get a version of this figure. And I was too lazy to buy the bad repaint. So today we're gonna be looking at the epic release of a character that everyone's been wanting, Studio Series Dino or Mirage or whatever the hell you wanna call him. And here we have Dino in his very, very nice, but not Ferrari vehicle mode. And yeah, sadly, to make this figure, the reason this figure hasn't been made in the original Dark of the Moon is because they couldn't get the license to a Ferrari, because since they are very, very picky about giving out their license. And yeah, we do get this thing that looks like a Ferrari to me. I don't know what they look like, and I honestly do not care. I'm glad to have Dino. And... I've had Dino, technically. Uh, for example, I've had the Alien Attack Farage thing. Uh, definitely a more masterpiece-style figure, but they're, I'll go into this later. Um, but for the car modes, they both look very similar, but for Alien Attack Farage looks more like what you'd expect a Ferrari to look like and has a better paint job. But yeah, uh, that's about it for that. Um... The vehicle mode is all right. Um, definitely not the highlight of this figure. Um, I definitely think there is more to talk about in the robot mode, but yeah. Another thing I like to mention is there is weapon storage in this. The weapons are actually inside the car. Uh, if you look close into the windshield, you could see the knife things. I, and you could put them right here, but I think that's that, that also could go there, but that's about it. Um, this, this vehicle mode, I might have transformed it wrong, but it can't really, like, be fully on the ground because of the chest and feet. And I don't like that the feet, like, kind of stick out, but I'm just nitpicking. But I don't care. I don't, I don't care if it's not, a, it's not a normal Ferrari, then, you know, it's, it's fine, you know? I definitely think Alien Attack wins this round, but, oh boy, the transformation on Alien Attack is whew, the, very, very long. And at least this transformation is actually a little bit fun. So let's go to that. see you there. I have a Discord server. You know, if you post a song request and it's copyright free and I use it in a video, you'll get a shout out. So I highly recommend you do that. The link is right up here and in the description. Go check it out. And here we have Studio Series Dino in his robot mode. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely worth the $20 price. I mean, I'm not gonna act like I was expecting some kind of masterpiece figure i mean we are getting micro masterpieces with all these deluxe classes and all that stuff but this figure is very good uh, he does come with two accessories that being his blades and they can go on these peg these five millimeter ports right here so if you really want to just get rid of this figure you could put him on some of your more for cybertron figures but these belong to dino um you can get all the good poses like his uh that pose uh but yeah um so what are there are a lot of things i do not like with this robot mode he just looks stumpy he looks like a freaking gorilla or something i mean i don't know like i always remember dino as like this slim dude but this guy looks more like like sideways like a big weird thing and the these wings don't help I mean, yeah, they don't look bad, and you can angle them to be, like, a bumblebee, or I prefer having them up. 
And, I mean, it looks all right. And my last complaint with this figure is these. I mean, I know that's a part of side, his Dino's design, but I don't remember them being this long. I mean, if they cut them right here, I feel like that would have looked fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring in, uh, Alien Attack Farage now, and I'm also gonna, you know, do the final shots and size comparisons, but here is Farage, and Farage does have some extra height, but if I have to say which one I prefer overall, it's very difficult to say. Um, honestly, I'd say the deluxe one. The deluxe one feels better and has a lot more to him, and the transformation isn't hell. Um, I will, I want to do a review on this guy, but I just don't know how I'm going to do it since I've never reviewed a third party figure, but we'll see about that in the future. Um, yeah. So for posability, head can look left and right, can look a little bit up and not so much down, can T-pose, has a swivel here, a swivel here, elbow, a swivel at the wrist, nothing at the waist, can do the splits kind of, has a, has a swivel here knee, and toe, foot can move front and back, which does help with close ability. And if you want, the blades are on technically like a swivel, so you can make them go up front for a different look. But yeah, that's about it for the robot mode. And I almost forgot to mention, this figure does come with his backdrop. Uh, this is the highway battle. This is the same backdrop that comes with uh, crowbar and the... I think that's it. I think also, no, Sideswipe doesn't come with it. And the box art is, and the box is fine. I mean, nothing special to it. You do get the artwork. He is number 71 in this series. And the back of the box says, oh, as the dreads pursue the Autobots in an attempt to take Set No Prime, Autobot Dino la lashes his blades onto Hatchet and steers him into oncoming traffic. Does this mean we'll get a hatchet? I hope so. This is filmed before the Hasbro Pulse thing, so I hope I'll be very, very happy. But let's go to the size comparisons. We have Studio Series Dino with Igor, Blitzwing, Dropkick, Blitzwing, and Blackout. And, um, that's it. <laughs> figure. I think he is fine. Do I think you should buy him? Uh, if you want to complete a Dark of the Moon collection and have more Autobots, I guess you can. But for me, this figure was just a little splurge pur purchase. I definitely did prefer this guy's look over the other Bumblebee that came out, but I plan to get that eventually. And this figure does look nice. I'm glad to have him a, like a more size appropriate Dino in my movie shelf. But do I recommend this figure overall? I'd say no. I mean, he has fl he's very flawed. He looks like a gorilla, and not in a good way. But yeah, I would say pass. But if you guys really want this figure, go find him. He's out in stores right now, and I'm and com having a more complete Dark of the Moon collection will be good. Hoping for a Q. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.